So really, really a very, very solid overall performance from Oklahoma. I think a lot of us, you know, a lot of the things that we've seen is Oklahoma being very vanilla on offense and defense. And we saw um, just an outstanding performance on both sides of the ball, particularly up front. Um, obviously, the game didn't start in the best way um, with Oklahoma um, having the punt on their first possession and then Nebraska going right down the field and scoring. Um, but obviously, the Oklahoma defense, Oklahoma offense took over. Uh, from that point in time, Oklahoma had 580 yards of total offense, 312 yards rushing, 268 uh, yards through the air. Um, Oklahoma's, like I said, both defensive lines, uh, I'm sorry, both the offense and defensive lines really controlled the football game for Oklahoma after that very first possession. And then really just obviously minus the the majority of the fourth quarter when a lot of the younger kids were in the game. So, um so, yeah, I think there was a lot of question marks, particularly surrounding Oklahoma's um, offensive line. And I think for one week they've been they've been answered, um, understanding with the, with the caveat that this is a really bad Nebraska defense specifically. Um, so I think you, you take that as a very strong positive and the cohesion that Oklahoma's offensive line is playing with right now. And you take that against Kansas State, which will be your the best defensive team that Oklahoma will play all year, will have played all year to this point, obviously. So, um, but, you know, going on the road for the first time in a, you know, in a, in a hostile environment with obviously the changes at the head coaching position for, uh, for Nebraska, you certainly expected a very emotional crowd and an emotional team to start the game, but you did what really good teams would do. You take that crowd out of the game fairly early in the game by the, you know, towards the end of the first quarter, early second quarter, um, the crowd was a non-factor. Um, Oklahoma put that seed of doubt within that te- Cornhusker team. And as I mentioned, really dominated the football game. Um, can't say enough about the defense. Um, you know, there was a lot of different looks that Venables gave, which you were expecting, obviously, um, with being very basic, very vanilla, early on both sides of the ball, but particularly on the defensive side of the ball. And then, you know, as well as they played getting after the quarterback, I um, think they had they they just beat Casey Thompson to hell um, in the first half and really four sacks, eight tackles for lost for loss, and then you know more of the same early on in the um, in the second half. And they you know they forced that they forced that fumble in the first possession. They go score, they go score a couple of touchdowns, and really um, obviously put the game out of reach um, early on in the third quarter. And then it was just cruise control after that. Looking at some of the some of the individual, it looks like some of the team stats. Oklahoma 31 first downs. Um, one of the things I really like: 10 out of 16 on third down conversion. So that was really really solid. 580 to, 80 total net yards. 84 plays that they ran. That's more um, what Jeff Levy will, will will look at. Obviously, just in terms of of you know of what that looks like it's 312 yards through uh, on, on the ground i should say on 54 carries uh 5.8 yards per carry so like i said a really really good um offensive performance on the ground on the ground um 268 yards passing um negligible uh penalties only six penalties for 65 yards and 